An early and prolonged wet has made cane harvesting difficult in North Queensland this season, but some new technology is offering a silver lining to farmers. A world first on farm cane processor has been installed in the Burdekin, and its inventors say it could be just the ticket to rejuvenating the state's sugar industry. Like all big inventions, this sugar cane processor came to life from one little idea. About 13, 14 years ago, I was coming back from Cairns and I was watching harvesting and I just thought, what a ridiculous way of processing cane. More than a decade on, the BT10 processor is now a reality. And this month, one of the prototypes ran fully automated on a small sugar cane farm at Inkerman in the Burdekin for the first time. For being one of the first, it's yeah, very exciting to see a new concept happening um, to an old technology, old sugar industry that's being revamped and revised, which is really good. The processor is effectively the size of around three shipping containers, but has the ability to perform like an industrial sugar mill, separating the cane's juice and fibre. Up to 15 tonnes of cane can be processed every hour, but future units will be constructed to allow for closer to 50 tonnes an hour. And it's not just the technology that has growers taking a keen interest in the processor. Its design allows for more than just one end product, and for farmers, that means more than one income stream. In theory, we can replace the entire Australian wood crop with, with the silicon fibre that comes out of the, uh, the long fibre that comes out of the cane. You can see the benefits of the, the waste products more so than the actual sugar. The commercial cost for one of the units hasn't been finalised but is predicted to run into the millions, a cost the inventors say could be shared by a group of farmers in one district. Megan Woodward, ABC News.